Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is a video that has been long since overdue and I want to put a full disclaimer at the beginning of this video. This was a product that Mega sent me for free and I have been a terrible influencer by not reviewing this for five months. And I want to send a direct apology to Mega for that. I am very new to the whole influencer game. I'm very new to reviewing something like this in particular. And in the space of those last five months, I've moved house and been traveling around the US and so many other things. And I've also uploaded about 150 other Mega Constructs videos in that time. Unfortunately, when I'm trying to do daily uploads, prioritizing a large scale video like this that I want to do well can sometimes fall under the radar. I apologize for that. And if you ever send me some something in the future, I will do a lot better than this. If you are watching this, welcome to the channel. We're gonna be doing a giveaway to apologize uh, to my community for the amount of times I've mentioned this video and not followed through with it. So I'm giving away a Cyan Spartan and 2016 SDCC Flame Marine. At some point in this video, I'm going to use the word Kellen, which is the name of my roommate who's also filming. If you can find the timestamp of when I say Kellen and comment down below with that timestamp, then I'll draw one of you to win a prize. And I I want to mention first as well, if you see a comment that's from a channel that is not me, it might be the domain at Telegram or something like that. There are scammers everywhere on YouTube. Don't reply to a comment that isn't from my channel, which you can verify by just clicking on the logo and seeing how many subscribers I have. So without further ado, let's get on with this review. This is the Mega Constructs Tesla Cybertruck. It is so weighty an absolute beast of a build. Definitely the most technical build I've ever done in my life. And with a technical build comes many different problems, not in terms with the build itself, but just the absolute tiny little details and intricate little pieces that if you don't know how to operate something like this, you can break it and never be able to fix it. So this has broken many times, but at the same time, when you have something that can break so often, it's got to be because there is so much detail involved. This is not a UNSC mammoth, which you're going to be playing with and putting in massive dioramas. This is to display at an office. That is the case with this Tesla Cybertruck. Complex moving pieces. Say it with me. Complex, Complex moving, moving pieces. pieces. Complex, Complex moving, moving pieces. pieces. Complex, Complex moving, moving pieces. pieces. Oh. Oh, wait, I'll just put my fingers right there. Yeah, yeah, that's about right, yeah. That's not gonna get in the way of the filming at all, Kellen. So before we review the Tesla Cybertruck in its entirety, we've gotta talk about what this comes in, which is the most impressive packaging I've seen for a Mega Constructs product on a number of levels. Same as any signature build series, like the Ford Unto Dawn, UNSC Infinity, the Scarab. It comes in this beautiful Mega packaging which is really fun. Interestingly, it still has the Mega Blocks packaging. Uh, Mega Blocks and Mega Constructs are like the two offshoots of Mega, but now they're condensing it down to a unified brand, the purple logo Mega. And this is also a fun box because it does come with this sample sticker. Inside is this absolute mammoth. This absolute mammoth. Whoa. Sick, dude. <laughs> The Tesla, look at this. I would like to know personally how much of a cooperative relationship Mega had with Tesla on the construction of this. I would like to think that Tesla engineers helped a little bit. Mega and Tesla might have cooperated on this packaging because this is so Tesla, right? On the back, it showcases some of the core features of the Tesla Cybertruck. And this thing does have a lot of features. Open this tab up, it all comes to life. Oh, whoa, whoa. Look at that. I mean, it's the real deal, man. Like this is is, uh, it was a very limited run, very limited amount of units at Christmas last year. It was probably just a promo for Tesla. And you may have already noticed an Easter egg hiding in this packaging. When the Tesla Cybertruck was first announced, they actually tried to uh, test how strong the windows were on the car and shattered them. It didn't go through. Let's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the right. Okay. Try that one, really? Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh, man. It didn't go through. <laughs> and Mega acknowledged that. I think that was probably Tesla's doing. Like, hey, let's embrace the meme here. And when you look inside this box, it really feels like a kit car. One of my friends back in England built a kit car with his dad once, and uh, I, I saw a lot of the process. This manual is a thick boy. Like, gee. Over 300 pages long, all in full color. And while this is a really great manual, there's one glaring problem with The it. gray and the black pieces 
are way too similar. You can barely tell them apart, and that does become a huge issue during the build. I live stream built this Tesla Cybertruck for 13 and a half hours. Big shout out to anyone who stayed with that entire stream. That was a really fun time back in like November. These are spare pieces, but you really can tell that the boxes are beautifully executed here. Proper like CAD diagram that make you feel like you are constructing this engineering marvel. Which it kind of is when you think about the product. And would you just look how comfortably that all fits in? <laughs> That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. I also have to give one really big shout out to what I honestly think is the best part of this entire box, this entire build. Mega, for the first time uh, in my knowledge, have gone with 100% recyclable packaging. I'm a big Mega Constructs guy, as you know, I'm the Mega Constructs guy, but when I'm building, I, I feel tremendously guilty when I throw away all the single use pieces of plastic that aren't even recyclable, really. But now, this is totally biodegradable, totally eco-friendly packaging, and I really gotta respect that. What I hope, is that this wasn't just Tesla's doing. I really do hope that Mega is going to make that transition to all of their packaging being this biodegradable material. I haven't seen any evidence since, but it is early days. So Mega, if you are watching this, this is the way to go. Every single time you do this, I will praise the sustainability to my fans. So it's definitely worth a shot. Get rid of the plastic. All right. This is the Tesla Cybertruck and it's hard to decide where to begin. There are so many moving pieces to this. The engineering behind it is pretty extraordinary. We'll start at the front of the car. We have, and uh, we're gonna struggle between the difference between our American and British uh, wording here. In England, we call this the bonnet of the car. But in America, it's the hood. Pop the hood. Pop the hood. All right, so if we pop the hood, we can see inside there are a few little intricate pieces of the engine and you'll see a constant theme of this set. Everything is smoothed over. Everything is like well polished and executed pretty flawlessly. Translucent and transparent bricks imitate the idea of lights pretty much all over the vehicle. And something that I like, which I don't know if other people would, is this soft plastic on both the windshield and the windows. Because there are a lot of moving parts, which I'll show in a little bit, this soft plastic allows any flexibility and no strain on the material. The worst thing you can have with these sets is some kind of elastic or hard plastic that ends up snapping from tension. We gotta talk about the suspension on this bad boy because it is beefy. We've got all these rods working in complete harmony. The suspension boosts up and down, but also side to side. And you can see when you apply any kind of pressure to either side, it will adapt and overcome. It really feels like a four wheel drive. The wheels are also monsters and everything again is smoothed off by all all of these flexible pieces that most of them are either on ball joints or clips. Here is the thing we gotta talk about the most. This is when this build becomes crazy. At four points on this windshield are these little ball joints. And when you open them, look at that. This pops forward so you can examine the interior. Doors also fold out and this can, if you want, completely come off or all the way back. If you apply enough pressure, these clips come loose but they can easily be clipped back on again, and this just slides in seamlessly. So if we take this off, we can examine the interior. First of all, these four doors are really nice. Again, very delicate, but if you can uh, use them correctly, they have a lot to offer. They can open, but then also curve outwards. There's like a nice arc to them, which really does feel quite seamless. These seats also move a little bit. This one, folds down completely, giving a little cup holder. I imagine Tesla will have sent Mega this, uh, maybe it's like a scan of an indoor testing area for their actual Tesla Cybertruck. Yes, there are basically just three colors to this entire build. Silver, black, and white. The white has this kind of pioneering effect that Mega's been using since like 2009, which is like injection molding into their plastic. And it means that every piece is different. Every Tesla will look different because some, this is all just randomized. Some might call it marble. The steering wheel rotates up, down, and around. Again, I just want to say, everything smoothed off, everything's seamless, everything works together in harmony. These two seats as well also have a white rim on the back, and these two clip into the top 
piece as well. What's up, everybody? It's just your boy, Cal here. You know, I'm definitely, as we know, not like the Mega Constructs Halo guy, but there's a few features on this that I really wanted to highlight and I asked Simon specifically if I could, because I think they're sweet. It all has to do around moving pieces. Sure, the door is great, suspension, awesome, but it's a couple of these other small ones that I think is so fun that are just these tiny little features. And my favorite is the retractable hood here. I mean, come on, look at that. So cool, right? handles to pull it back out here. Probably do it two hands next time, but you get my point. You got your little jack there, you know what I mean? You can fix her on the road should you get a flat there, eh boys? To me, it's like little details like that that really make this so unique. The Tesla Cybertruck is a massive 3,283 pieces, and it sure does feel like that. Took me 13 and a half hours straight on a live stream to build it. After that, it's just been really appreciated in this house for uh, most people coming in. As a Halo collector, it's a little hard for for people to get invested in your Halo collection or really even talk about when you have new things on display. But this is a real centerpiece in our apartment and has a lot of people talking. So should you buy this? If you are an avid fan of Tesla and maybe you want to invest in a highly sought after collectible, this will only increase in price now it's been discontinued. I really hope that this leads to other projects from Mega cooperating with big companies. They made a Fender guitar last year. He-Man Castle Grayskull was a great achievement from the company. And I really hope it opens the door to more things. There have been rumors that Mega Constructs is working on a SpaceX rocket and that would be really dope. I hope that this relationship continues. And Elon Musk, if you're watching this, good luck on Mars, mate. This is not the last time you're going to see this Tesla. I'm going to take it to a guy called Brick Stuff, and he's going to kit it out with custom lights and sound. So you'll be able to see that in an upcoming video, probably in a three or four months time. So this was a pretty crazy review with the domain, something that was long since overdue. And I do apologize to Mega for the delay. And I hope that going into the future, we can review more products like this. But I want to thank everybody for the support on this video and for the rallying support behind making this review. I know people have been very excited to see it. The live stream for 13 and a half hours was a wild time and I had a really good experience just bonding with all of my community while building this behemoth of a set. So shout out to Mega, shout out to everybody watching this, and you stay awesome, you stay safe out there folks. Stick it with the domain for all your Mega Constructs needs. And the Tesla Cybertruck! is signing off.